Hey guys, I'm Elisa Strauss and we're mixing it up in the kitchen today with a Lala Loopsie doll. One for Halloween to go with our witch's hat that we've already done for Halloween. Today I'm going to show you how to make her from head to toe. So let's get started. To make Lala Loopsie's head, I'm going to use a two and a half inch styrofoam ball and a serrated knife just to cut the bottom off. Now I'm just going to knead the modeling chocolate and roll it out. So now I'm covering the styrofoam ball with just some piping gel. So I'll grab my modeling chocolate, pull it up, put the styrofoam ball down in the center and start to cover it. I'll cut off all of the excess but I'll leave some extra so that I can put it under the chin of Lala Loopsy. I'm going to stick it into the fridge so it hardens so that when we attach all the decorations, it's ready to go. To make the skirt, I use three ounces of orange fondant. If you have a three inch ring, use the ring to just cut away the edges. And then I'm going to use a veining tool to just make the impressions. I used two and a half ounces of hot pink fondant to cover the skirt and make the body. To make the layer of the skirt, I use a two and a half inch cutter just to create a disc. Then I lay the disc right on top of the orange skirt. To make the upper part of the body, I make about a one and a half inch by one and a half inch square with the remaining pink fondant. I'm using a threaded pipe that I found at just a local hardware store to add some texture to the skirt. I'm using parchment paper so that I can move the doll around as I work on her. I use a ball tool to just create the area that's going to be arm sockets. I use some pink fondant to add a little detail on the arms. Use the veining tool to make some details. I cut a plastic dowel to four inches. That'll just keep the whole doll together. I use a little bit of the flesh color to wrap around the bottom of the dowel to make a neck. I use a little bit of the hot pink to create a ruffle around that neck. I make the legs with just a little bit of the orange fondant. I use my hand to roll it into a cylinder and I cut it at two inches. I roll a little ball of black fondant to give the leg a little foot Use a little egg white to stick it together. Then I cover the leg and boot together. I just wrap it in a thin piece of the black fondant. Then I make a little indent up the boot and that's where the laces are going to go later. I'll make a little tongue by cutting out just a tab from the black fondant. To make the rest of the boot, I just roll out a thick piece of white fondant and a thin piece of white fondant. I use an 808 tip to cut out the bottom of the boot and then I just use the tip of the 808 tip to cut the toe of the boot. I use the remaining flesh color modeling chocolate to make the arms. So again, start with a cylinder and each arm is going to be about two and a half inches. And I stick it on toothpick. And I usually pinch it at one end so it fits right into the arm socket. And to make the thumb, just cut away a little triangle. I cut a strip of black fondant and wrap that around the arm to give the doll its sleeve. And just create a seam in the back of the arm by pushing it together. I have some white fondant rolled out and I'm going to just cut some thin strips. I'll use about four little stripes lay it over the arm and then cut them and put a seam in the back. The finishing detail to the arm, I cut two strips. I'll use a veining tool to just make like a little ruffle. I attach the ruffle along the bottom edge. Again, create a seam in the back. To attach the arms and legs, I'm going to attach the legs with a little egg white push it right into the skirt. Then I'll use the arms 
Again, a little bit of egg white. I just put the arm right up into the arm socket. Take some black fondant, make a long strip, roll it like a snake, and I'll use my veining tool all along the back side. You just wanna run it around the edge of one side, flattening it. Then I cut it in half just so it's easier to handle. And again, just press it all along. You wanna make sure to cover the seam of the leg and it'll stick onto the skirt. And again, if it doesn't, then either just press it in a little more with the veining tool, add some egg whites or water. I rolled some black fondant and I'm going to add a detail to the skirt. So I just cut some strips and I'll attach. This is nice because I can attach it just as I go. I took the head right out of the refrigerator and I'm going to use the other end of my dowel and just insert it into the bottom. There's her big head on top of her little body. To add the hair, I roll out a little bit of the orange fondant. Use a four inch ring. And to add detail, I can put my threaded pipe on again. And notice I left the hair quite thick. I want it to have some ridges. Just kind of gives me the sense of a doll's hair. Just gather the hair in the back and I just cut it off. To get the two tufts of hair, I use two balls of the orange fondant and then I'll stick two toothpicks in to hold it together. Kind of looks cute like Japanese cartoon. And now I'm going to just make a bunch of cones of different sizes for the doll's hair. I'm just rolling it into different shapes. They're almost like teardrops to start. And then I wanna make them pointy on one end. Some are going to be very long and some will be shorter. Altogether, you'll need around 20, 25 of these little guys. To attach all my cones, I'm going to just use a little bit of egg whites, run it along the back of the cone, and apply them gradually. Some in front of my little ball, and then the longer ones I'm going to put right over. I use some black fondant just to make two bows. I just take a little tiny piece for the centers of the bows. These are nondescript puffy bows. The bows attach to the hair themselves because the black fondant is so moist. To make the eyes, I use a mold from Marvelous Molds. It's um, my button mold, and I'm just going to use a little bit of the black fondant. Then I use a toothpick to create even deeper holes. And now I'm going to use an 806 tip to cut out two circles. So I'll just attach the eyes with a little royal. I use the back of the 804 pastry tip to just emboss where the mouth is going to go, just to give her a little smile. I use my black royal icing just to trace the smile. Then she has a little mole right there. And I'm going to add some eyelashes. I push in and pull away. I take the dots that were cut out with the 806 tip, place them for cheeks. And to add an extra detail, I use a toothpick to add some stitch marks. So the finishing details, I want to put some black royal icing dots at the edge of my doll's skirt. So I just use a number one pastry tip and just pipe evenly spaced dots. Last but not least, we'll add some laces. I just use some white royal icing, a number one tip, and I try to get the laces really close together like they're lacing up a boot. Then I leave some room at the top for the bow. Two long laces and two teardrop shapes. I hope you enjoyed making Lala Lupsy with me today. I'd love to see what you come up with. And if there's something else you wanna learn, please just post it below and ask me. If you're looking for the ingredients or equipment I use, I've written it all out for you down below. I'm Elisa Strauss and this is Mixing It Up. See you next week.